Good morning, students. Let's start our lessons for today. The topic of our lesson for today is linear momentum and the impulse. So our learning objectives that are achieved today define linear momentum as the product of mass and the velocity. Next, define resultant force as the rate of change of momentum. So, you should know from 9th grade, the term momentum is in symbols P equal to MV. Momentum is, is a vector quantity that has both magnitude and the direction. The direction of the momentum is defined as the direction of the velocity. The unit of momentum is defined from formula kilogram multiplied by meter per second. It's not any special unit in CI. So let's uh, observe this car's motion in order to compare their momentum. In first case, if they has the same mass but different velocity, let's observe their and the motion and the to tell about their momentum. Which car has more momentum? So it can be clearly seen that fast moving car has more momentum. Okay, in second case, if she has the same velocity, but she has, she have different mass. Let's observe the motion. Okay, and which car or truck has more momentum? Which heavy, heavy truck, yeah? A heavy truck has more momentum, and it's hard to stop it and it has great effect or great effect to another car if they collide with each other. So, it has great effect on another car. It can break another one. Okay? And uh, uh, let's uh, define or the momentum as linear or linear momentum as the product of its mass and uh, its velocity. And uh, uh, the connection of uh, impulse and the uh, force, how can we connect them or link? So in order to change the momentum, it required a force. So, net force applied to an object in the result the mass that object which has mass M and uh, its momentum is changed. So, how can connect or link the momentum and the net force especially the Newton's second law. Who can write down some equations? And uh, to get the equation of Newton's second law in terms of momentum. So, Rahmet, write down here. Mm -hmm. uh, from the, uh, this equation, we can know that the acceleration equal to the uh, changing of the velocity uh, def uh, dividing to the changing of time. Uh -huh. So uh, after we will uh, replace uh, acceleration to this uh, equation. Mm -hmm. F net force, sum of net force equal to uh, m m delta uh, delta v, v divided by delta, delta t. t. So here. M delta V is equal to the changing of the changing impulse. Changing momentum. Yeah? Changing momentum. 
Okay? Is everybody agree with this? Okay, right. Thank you. So here, it can be clearly seen that the net force is directly proportional to the impulse or change in momentum. And uh, it inversely proportional to the impact time interval. So delta P is impulse or change in momentum. Okay. And uh, we can conclude the rate of change of momentum of an object is equal to the net force applied on it. It's a new sentence or new statement of Newton's second law. Write down these equations and the statement of Newton's second law in terms of momentum. Write down, everybody. Okay. Next part of our lesson is pair work. So uh, it's given, it are given some uh, topics that you are uh, research. So let's get the uh, papers, which of them are given. Let's hear. Choose one of these papers and uh, find your pair. And sit down here. First pair in first pair table, and the second, third, and the next. Sit down, hurry up, find your pair. Mm -hmm. At first, think about it this topic or appliance of impulse in pairs and the discus you can choose on the table materials or devices that you can use during this demonstration after discussing your topic you can demonstrate it with your pair Prepare. Topic is, I think it's safety passenger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about seat belts, airbags, 
Pay attention, students. Uh, I want to ask you the safety of passengers in the vehicles. Mm -hmm. So, exactly, seat belts and airbags. Mm -hmm. So, let us demonstrate. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine that it's an airbag. Uh, when the car crashes, the body of the human w uh, moves forward and the uh, airbag increases uh, the time of in mm -hmm. impact. You can see that uh, when the time increases, mm -hmm. the force uh, will be decreased. Mm -hmm. So we can prove that the force mm -hmm. is indirectly proportional to the time. Mm -hmm. Inversely. Inversely proportional. Uh, yeah? The next demonstration mm -hmm. is uh, will be by using the seatbelt. Imagine uh -huh. that it is a seatbelt. Uh, when the car uh, uh -huh. collides with the other car, uh -huh. the, uh, the human's body will move forward again. Uh -huh. it, uh, the seatbelt yes. stretches the time, and that is why uh, the time will be increased, and fo uh, force will be decreased again. Mm -hmm. Are you agree? Yeah. Okay. It's right, fine, thank you. Next pair, we can. Okay, next. Next is safety and the comfort of sp sport equipment. Two demonstrations. Asia. Safety and comfort of sport equipment and the helmet and the running surface. First, first is a demonstration. A demonstration with helmet and we need little bottle. If I throw this bottle, bottle without helmet, it will break because duration of impact is increased. Then for it decreases then. Force will uh, increase it, and uh, the second time uh, I I throw this bottle uh, with helmet. Mm -hmm. uh, and Shall time, it bottle? Uh, uh huh. Bottle, uh, don't break uh, because uh, <coughs> when helmet only one ground. Only on ground, the uh, time interval uh, will <coughs> uh, increase it, and then, uh, uh, as a result, force will decrease it. Easier was because, deformation? Because the uh, helmet uh, is uh, deformed. Deformed wa when, uh, when it's landing on, landing the, ground. on the ground. Yeah? yeah. Okay. The is, uh, uh, Next. And, uh, uh, today we make uh, running tracks uh, from uh, rubber and uh, it's helped us to reduce the injuries because uh, when the, uh, we run uh, the uh, rubber uh, running track uh, increases the contact time and uh, it's helped us to reduce the uh, force and impact to a uh, human's leg. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all. Okay, thank you. Next pair. If you have some questions, you can ask. Our topic is about uh, boxing, and uh, when uh, boxing noticed that his opponent uh, decided uh, to hit him uh, to, to mm -hmm. his head, uh, he uh, relaxed, relaxes his Can neck, neck and. Uh -huh. uh, Move, move head um, back, backward. So, uh huh. And then so? it helps to increase collision of time and decrease power of heat. And uh, in the world box, we call it uh, the riding of punch. Riding of punch, yeah. Do you have any question? No? Mm -hmm. Is it related to our impulse? Yes. Okay, thank you. Next pair, who can? Okay. It's about rock climbers. Mm -hmm. uh, rock climbers, uh, when they climb, use uh, ropes which mm -hmm. made by nylon. Uh, because of these ropes can stretch. Uh, so, 
Imagine, yeah. Imagine that it's my own room and it can stretch. Uh, and uh, if the climb will fall, he hopes that the rope uh, will apply the force that stops him. Mm -hmm. uh, when this uh, rope uh, stretch, uh, it stretch, uh, it increase uh, stopping time, uh, which can decrease uh, force in climber's body. Uh, and again, uh, we can say that uh, force is inversely proportional to the time uh, that force uh, climbs. So, it's physics in. Action, yeah? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Next pair. Is it it's about baseball or tennis? It's baseball, yeah? Baseball. Uh is the back and the ball we had uh with each other for a long time. Uh the first will be less so uh the ball doesn't fly very much. Uh, if I will use the uh, ball with the swing and uh, the contact time will decrease, uh, the force which apply on the ball will increase, and the velocity of the uh, ball will increase too, and the ball can fly far away. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Next. Last topic. Hits the ball with big force. As a result, this ball fly is flying at a high velocity. We know that velocity and impulse direction are proportional, and therefore, open of this outlet cannot. Uh, hit the ball to him, uh, so um, uh, it's needed to be forced. Mm -hmm. And at first we want to show the demonstration of this movement. Uh, uh, how we see it, the, the contact time between ball and the uh, bucket is uh, small and that uh, velocity of the uh, ball is higher. Why? Uh, because because um, time is inversely proportional to uh, force. So in a short time you apply the big, big force. force. Yes. Yeah, in results the velocity of the ball is so increased. Yes. Yeah, increase it. Yeah. Thank you. Next. It's fine. Final. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Your, it can be seen that in all uh, topics uh, impulse or change in momentum is uh, directly proportional to the force and the force is inversely proportional to its impact time, yeah? So, physics in action. So, our next part of our lesson is group walk that call it egg drop challenge. That you'll do a group walk that to do a model and uh, you will choose uh, some materials to do a crumple zone to an egg. So these four students will be first group and the next four students second group and the final four students is sec uh, third group. So think about it which model is great uh, and uh, choose some materials on the table and the last start and remember that impulse about force and the time interval
Okay, have you finished it all groups? So, can we start our demonstration yes, yes. with egg, egg drop challenge? Yeah, between three, gr three groups. Okay, which group are ready? First, okay, you should demonstrate it. Other groups, observe it. Okay, drop it. Test it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Test it. Wasn't broke? No. Yeah? Okay. So, uh, you know, model with uh, ruler paper and the cotton. Uh, because uh, <coughs> cotton is uh, soft and uh, when the, uh, the model <coughs> found him on the ground, uh, our cotton uh, deformed. And uh, it's, uh, it's helped us uh, to increase the interval, a time of interval. Mm -hmm. So the forces, uh, the forces uh, will decrease it. Decrease it, yeah, yeah. on and up. Uh, force, uh -huh. Forces uh, in direction uh, proportional uh, to time. The time. Okay. Okay. Next, next group should demonstrate. Yeah. First group. Yeah. It's it's very unusual. As a parachute, parachute with a paper. Mm -hmm. And the other groups should observe it. Uh huh. And they check it. Okay, I will help you. Ah, you have. Scissors. Students, pay attention. I think it's very safety. Yeah, it doesn't broke. Yeah. So okay. In our model, uh, the main role was played by the parachute. Parachute was very effective to increase the time of the mm -hmm. of the flying. Uh, that is why when egg dropped slowly, to the landed slowly. So uh, the force will uh, the force decrease it. That is why it is not broken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why you didn't use any balloon or? Uh, we yeah. want to stop time uh, to decrease. Uh, inc uh, we uh, try to increase time uh, to decrease force. Mm -hmm. So we. So it was as a balloon, yeah, your paper. Okay, thank you. Yeah, great model. Second, yeah. Which group? So, 
break it broken no a bit yeah a bit so your model was not safety yeah okay explain it your model why you choose it is a model consists of tubes that uh, that help to uh, decrease the time of uh, contacting the egg with the, uh, with the, with the land. Also, model uh, these tubes apply this force for not for the egg, uh, for the construction and uh, force which depends to the egg, which affects to the egg will decrease. So, why your egg has broken? Uh, because uh, this model has some weak points that if uh -huh. uh, this model will uh, will land for the opposite side or for the uh, wrong side, uh, it will mo model will be So broken. I think the time impact with the ground was a bit short, yeah? So that's why the force was a bit well, uh, uh, yeah, higher. higher, yeah. That's why your Oak has broken. Yeah? Am I right? Yes. Everybody? Yes. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Our next part of our lesson is uh, it concludes our lesson. So it's about challenge activity, demonstration. I will do it for my own. So I will jump from this table so you should observe me while I am jumping let's start what did you notice think about it I will give you some time to think about it what's the relation of this demonstration of our lesson today especially impulse so who is ready who is ready okay Zaur. I noticed that uh, when you were landing you bent your knees uh -huh. so uh, we can say that your knees work uh, as a spring uh, it increases mm -hmm. the time of the impact when you are landing that is why uh, your health will be safety mm -hmm. uh, you won't bra break your legs so if the I force will be decreased mm -hmm. if I don't um, bend my knees on landing, hurt. I can hurt my legs. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, you know it from everyday, yeah, life. Yeah. So thank you very much. Are you agree? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I will give you some problems as at homework. Yeah, to do it. Uh, so about force of the tennis and the washing a car. And uh, you will do a reflection at the end of our lesson and uh, on your table that uh, stick it some papers and I write down when I did this this happened next time I will do you should construct these sentences 